hello students in today's class we'll see half range four year series so what is this half range four year series we'll see but uh, it is nothing but uh, already we have seen the examples based on this i can say that uh, it is uh, just like a even function or odd function but how this four year series is defined we'll see now many a uh, times it is required to obtain a Fourier expansion of a function f of x for the range 0 comma c. The c will take either pi or l. If l takes it will be what here with the value of l will be 1 2 3 so on. So remember in general 0 to c. c may take what here either pi value or l value. pi it will remain as it is but if L takes that L will be uh, maybe L or it will take the value 1, 2, 3, 4 because L is what here arbitrary. So I can continue here again. So 0 to C which is half the period of the four year series. As it is immaterial whatever the function may be outside the range. So I can say that so X will be greater than 0 and less than C we extend the function to cover the range x greater than minus c to plus c so that the new function may be odd or even. So to check even and odd we have seen this concept. So to check even and odd in the range either for 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 2 l we have seen that x will be changed to what here uh, to either uh, x will be replaced by for in the interval 0 to pi or 0 to 2 l x will be replaced by uh, 2 l minus x or 2 pi minus x or in case uh, of uh, minus pi to plus pi or 0 minus l to plus l so x will be changed by what here minus x so here what happens the Fourier series expansion of such a function of half the period therefore uh, consist of sine or cosine term only so you know that uh, in even a function if, if it is even function you can see that that four years is purely a function of what here cosine if it is odd function you know that uh, the fun four year function uh, series will be what here purely sine function so here in such cases the graph for value of x in 0 comma c are the same but outside 0 comma c are different for odd and even function so now we'll see so what is the this uh, uh, exact uh, half range that is for what is half range means half range we have two it will be uh, a sine half range series or cosine half range series so it is nothing but if it is sine half range series it is nothing but i can say that uh, other part is what here it is odd function what happens in odd odd means what here we uh, have a naught is equal to zero and a n is equal to zero only we need to find b n so finding b n is nothing but what here finding b n is nothing but what here it is nothing but a purely odd function so where we are finding only bn and we are executing so i can say that finding bn is nothing but sine so this is nothing but one odd is nothing but purely a, a four year sine half range series similarly while uh, uh, if you say that function is even so we can say that we are going to find a naught and a n but b n is zero so we can say that such kind of series where finding the value of a naught and a n is going to called as what here uh, our um, uh, this one a four year cosine half range series now we'll see in particular what is sine series uh, in a half range and what is uh, a cosine series in half range in detail sine series if it be required to expand f of x as a sine series in x greater than 0 less than c so i am telling here c may take pi value or l value okay then we extend the function reflecting uh, it in the origin so that f of x is equal to minus x i told so f of x is equal to minus x if you are proving it is odd function odd function is nothing but sine series so therefore i can say that 
then then the extended then the extended the extended function the extended function is odd extended function is what here odd in minus c2 plus c and the expression i can say that or expansion or the expansion expansion will give expansion will give what here the desired the desired four year sign series four year sign series so remember so even function is going to called as cos but the odd function is going to called as what here four year sign series so therefore the four year sign series is given by means that is four year half range sign series given by summation n from 1 to infinity b n into sine of n pi x upon c i am taking where c may be l or may be pi if the interval they have given in terms of l so it will take l value if the interval they have taken in terms of pi this pi but if it if pi comes here pi pi cancels sin nx it will be okay so in detail we'll see while solving the example where this bn is nothing but where bn is bn is integrate 1 uh, 2 upon pi uh, 2 upon c 0 to c f of x into sin of n pi x upon c into dx so this is the value of bn so once we get the value of bn so we need to apply in the above expression so above expression is nothing but four year sine series in terms of half range now we'll see the next one cosine series if it be required to express f of x as a cosine series in x greater than 0 less than c we extend the function reflecting it in the y axis so that f of minus x is equal to f of x so f of minus x is equal to f of x this is a condition for e1 so after replacing x by minus x if we are getting uh, once again uh, f of x then we call it is e1 function so if it is e1 function you we know that bn is 0 only we need to find what here a0 and an so that is nothing but a cosine series then i can say that then the extended function is e1 in minus c2 plus c and its expansion will use the required four year cosine series so we have two series now again here so one is a half range four year sine series and half range four year cosine series so what is the cosine series we'll see now so f of x is equal to a naught upon 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n into cos of n pi x upon c. So this is a four year cosine series in terms of half range where a naught is given by 2 upon c 0 to c f of x dx and b n is given by no sorry a n is given by 2 upon c integration 0 to c f of x into cos of n pi x upon c into dx so i can say that so this is the complete formula uh, for cosine half range four year cosine series so this is a complete formula for four year a half range four year cosine series and previous we have seen so this is this complete is nothing but 
फोर ईयर हाफ रेंज फोर ईयर साइन सीरीज so where we need to find only b n and in a cosine series we need to find a n i a not and a n so once again uh, i will give a table for the this uh, four year a uh, half range four year uh, series in this we will see what is sine and cosine in the interval 0 to pi and 0 to l and all half range four year series table we will see so f of x in means we have here we'll see the intervals so first interval i want to see 0 to l for the interval 0 to l what is cosine series we'll see cosine series so for the 0 to l the cosine series will be so series means here it will be f of x is equal to so cosine means a not by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n into so 0 to l means it will be cos of n pi x upon l and for respect to the fourier coefficient for co fourier co a not will be 2 upon l 0 to l f of x into dx and a n will be 2 upon l integration 0 to l f of x into cos of n pi x upon l into dx so remember this so what happens for 0 to l next we'll see interval 0 to l for sin series for 0 to l sin series will be that is f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity so sin means only bn uh, bn of sin of n pi x upon l and the fourier coefficient that is the value of bn will be integration 2 upon l integration 0 to l f of x into sin of n pi x upon l into dx so this is for the interval 0 to l sin series now we will see the interval 0 to pi for cosine 0 to pi for cosine series is f of x is equal to a not by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n into cos of n pi x uh, only it is n pi uh, n x it is only n x and here the coefficients are a not is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x into dx and a n will be 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x into cos of n x into dx so this is for uh, 0 to pi cosine series next 0 to pi sin series 0 to pi sin series that is f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity bn into sin of nx where bn that is fourier coefficient bn is nothing but uh, 2 upon pi integration 0 to pi f of x into sin of nx into dx so in this way we need to remember so what is this uh, fourier half range Uh, four year series table for the function uh, uh, here so given function if it is uh, sin series what happens and uh, cos series what happens we'll see in detail we have seen here so once again for 0 to l what happens uh, and uh, for cosine series it will be f of x is equal to a not by 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n cos of n pi x upon l where a not value is 2 upon l integration 0 to l f of x dx and an is 2 upon l 0 to l f of x 
cos n phi x upon l into dx. So this is uh, cosine series for the interval 0 to l. And uh, for the interval 0 to l, sine series is given by f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity b n sine of n pi x upon l and where the b n value is 2 upon l 0 to l f of x sine of n pi x upon l into dx. And similarly, for the interval uh, 0 to pi cosine series will be f of x is equal to a naught upon 2 plus summation n from 1 to infinity a n cos of n x it is uh, and uh, the value of a naught is 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x dx and a n value is 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x into cos n x dx and lastly for the interval 0 to pi sine series is given by f of x is equal to summation n from 1 to infinity b n sin n x where b n is nothing but 2 upon pi 0 to pi f of x sin n x dx. So the question will be asked based on what here uh, find the Fourier half range series or uh, means the question is find the half range series of Fourier sine transform or half range series of cosine transform. If they ask, then we need to check uh, whether they have given in which interval, 0 to L interval or 0 to pi and we according to that, we need to find the, uh, we'll write the series and we'll find the respective uh, Fourier coefficients. So let's see the examples.